Welcome to the vlog. Turn around, let's see you guys together. <gasps> you guys got matching nighties. Journey looks so cute. Journey never had. Did you say she smells like poop? She smells like poop and she looks so cute. Hey, so cute. <laughs> you look so cute, but you smell like poop. <laughs> Journey, did you go poop? Is that you're happy? What is it? So I haven't vlogged anything today, just because we haven't done nothing much. I went downstairs, I made a ribbon trim, and I did a shirt on the new Melco. And then we went to Fuji to eat dinner, because I wanted shrimp. Uh, I'm obsessed, obsessed with Fuji shrimp. But then I ran in next door to the shoe store, and I bought some new shoes. I've been needing shoes, like the... um. Last time I got new shoes was over a year ago, and it was um, the ones my husband got me for Christmas. So, I'm just now starting the vlog, and it is almost, well, it's a little bit after nine. Um, earlier, I come down, I had to finish a ribbon trim, which I got that done, and I had to put backing on a, another shirt I had down here and and uh, I started a shirt oh, I got some stabilizer in the mail which is good because I am completely out and I've been using I'll show you what I've been using um, it's this stuff you buy it from Walmart it's like it's one of those ones that are labeled like multi-purpose like as a Let's see, I thought I had the thing somewhere. Might be down there. Um, as a stabilizer and as I don't know something else. <laughs> so I was like, I needed something, anything, just to get me by because I was out. And then I had the Melco guy coming in. I didn't have any stabilizers. I actually had two sheets. And then you guys, when he um, I don't even have what he tested out. It might be out there. I think I had Journey Draw in it. Actually, I might have thrown it away too. But when he tested it out, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, he ended up using two sheets of. Because I had them laying on the table and they were, kind of, I guess, stuck together. And he used both of them and hooped them. And anyway, I was like, whatever, you know. Um, and I, I have, I placed my order for my stabilizers and everything, uh, from World of Widener, and I placed that order, like, last week, and I still haven't got it yet, and then yesterday, I checked the tracking, and it says they shipped it out, and the funny thing is, is, like, it says shipped, and it was, like, as of... 10 58 or something p.m. and the time when I checked it was only like 8 a.m. and we're at Eastern Standard Time and they live in Oklahoma and I was like how can this be showing up 10 something and it's not even 10 something and it said p.m. it didn't say a.m. I said p.m. so but anyway um I ordered this Sunday night because you know I was frantic and I needed something and I didn't know when my other order was going to show up so I got this off Amazon and it was back to $19.99 they had went up to like $29.99 and so now they're back so I have that so then I have more coming and then um, I ordered here's the thing with my new machine I say new machine you know what I mean the old machine that I can finally use because I know how to use it. It's not that I didn't know how to use it before because I don't feel like he really taught me like 
um, a lot, if that makes sense. Like, Eric, you know, he didn't teach me how, you know, you make it go or anything, because I guess he thought I knew, because I already did that stuff, which I guess I must be doing it right, because he did the same thing I was doing, so, um, anyway. So, I just got some stuff on it. Um, the main thing he did teach, which I do, he taught us, like, how it works, basically. Like, and, um, he was able to maintenance it and figure, you know, the, um, thing that was wrong with it was, like, something with the bobbin. It, it was too tight in there so the bobbin wasn't spinning like it should something was like where you put the bobbin in the case or something was um, too tight on there so the bobbin wasn't spinning so that's why I kept getting thread breaks and how like it was just bird nesting like really really bad and so he was able to fix that he showed us all the maintenance on the machine how to go through everything and um, all that jazz and yeah, and then I found out I don't have the full version of the, um, what's supposed to be with it. It's like, um, the design shop or whatever. So it's just the light version of it. It's not the full version of it. He said it's probably on, you know, whoever I bought it from. It's probably on their computer. But, um, I got eight. I'm checking my shirts. I'm waiting on a large... Mel Melco, a large shirt order. I think it'll be in tomorrow too. And then I'll have to wait for thread. That's the thing I was getting at is that I don't have enough thread. I only have the colors that I bought before, which was like a hundred dollars worth of the Madeira thread. Um, and so I'm only running the Madeira because my other thread, this cheap thread art thread, breaks in that machine. At least it did before, and I'm not even going to try it again. Um, so I needed a lot of colors just to make sure I have the colors I need for like designs I do. Like I don't have any gold and I do a ton of designs that require gold. Um, i trying to think of what other colors. Like this darker kind of purple I have over here. Um, I have a lot that need the purple. And I actually need like this color which is... I don't even know. It's kind of like a gray purple. Um, you remember I made this for Journey? <laughs> she never did wear it. She could probably, well, she could wear it now. It's 12 months, but anyway, it's just something that I wanted to make. But, um, and then these, what I've been doing is after I make my shirts, I put them back in these little plastic things and it helps me save on having to purchase the little bags because I normally ship in them ship them in bags so then um the onesies i usually put in my bags because they don't come in these and any other shirt i buy that don't come in this i put in the baggies but here lately um the last few orders i had i took them upstairs and i didn't have these little things so i was like i'm shipping them in bags so i'm gonna save these and actually there's a few shirts down here that don't have their baggies so it's probably them too as well because like I said before, I had all of the ruffle bottom. Anyway, I need to get to work. Hey guys, I'm just getting done. I actually had to finish up an Abbey and an Elmo and another Abbey. And so that took way longer because of I had to do them on the brother, the PE770. Um, mainly because I don't have all the threads I need to make them. I need... Um, a darker shade of this and a lighter shade of hot pink and so I just went ahead and made him so I'm ready to head to bed but anyway thanks for watching guys I'll probably continue this tomorrow bye where'd your books go Back here. Oh. schoolwork in the car we're at Dunkin' Donuts. Mm. Journey, you want Dunkin' Donuts? Journey, you want a donut? And some coffee? You want some coffee? <laughs>
Are you getting this, Journey? Are you getting this? She's like, no, give me the shark. Are you getting this? Are you getting that? Are you getting that? Can I put back? No? Gonna see what we got. We got a children's place order because I had to take back their Easter dresses and I got them another dress. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think everything's in here. We'll find out. Oh, look at her feet. Look at her foot. Oh. From her sock print. First things first. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> now hers, I plan on taking off this headband and putting it on a stretchy band. Mm. It's just so pretty. So you guys got matching <laughs> headbands. Thank you. That you can wear with these dresses. Open them up. This is Journey's. Look, Jern. It'll fit me perfectly. <laughs> Cedar dresses. Dad. We got new church dresses. New matching church dresses. Very pretty. Here you go. You. And you guys can wear these headbands, <coughs> but I have to put her. Is that our Easter dress? No. Nope. Normal dress? Church dresses. Mm, church. <gasps> you can see that photo. Ooh. Here, Jen. Look. Oh. Look, Journey. No, I don't know if hers will fit her or not. But when I looked at them in the store, they looked like they would. But now I'm looking at them here, and I don't know if they would. Oh, they fit you. Mm -hmm. Good. Get up and show Dad. Get your shoes on. Journey, look. You want to try on your shoes? I found it. We got to put away our groceries still. <laughs> I'm not gonna put the chicken in the crock pot. Come, Come on. You gonna try mine? Look. <laughs> Sissy, come try your shoes. Put it on her foot and then stand her up and we'll see what they <laughs> They way too big. I can't see at all. Oh, so cute. Bring it over here. Let me see how big it is on her. <laughs> is it super her, big? Or her just toes little? don't poke out of the top. Well, no, if she, well. <laughs> I think she might. Be able to. Fit. She might be able to wear this come this end of the summer. <laughs> oh. Oh, bless her tiny little feet. That's the smallest size they have. <coughs> but I did buy her some at Walmart yeah, today. No. Okay. Now these are the replacement of the jean shorts that did fit you. Those are in a 14. Hey, Judy. Oh, yeah. These are much better. And then these are your Easter dresses. <gasps> They were technically not in the Easter section, but I thought they looked really pretty, and I thought 
You guys can multiple try it on. It looks a little short. Yeah, it does look a little short, so I just said try it on. Not again. I like it. It looks really cute. It's right there at the knee. It'll be a one. I'm going to wear that again next year. Probably. It'll probably grow 10 inches. It goes off his shoulder. So does Journey's. Can you do this? Hey guys, so it is much later than the day. Um, we went to Walmart. Well, um, this morning I had to meet the lady. Um, I sold some baby stuff on the Marketplace website. Actually, I meant it was a guy. I didn't know it was a guy. The whole time I was talking to this person, I thought it was a lady. But I didn't really go into their profile look, and their name was like um, a foreign name. And Anyway, um... So we met them um, at 10 this morning, and then we just went and paid our taxes on our van, and um, we had to run by Walmart because, let's face it, I haven't been cooking dinner. Um, I just, I haven't gone to the grocery store to buy any meat to like, plan out what I'm going to make. So when we were at Walmart, I was like, I'm going to cook something. What do you guys want? And nobody was saying anything. So I was like, how about barbecue? So we're having barbecue chicken, um, the shredded chopped chicken it's in the crock pot and the whole house smells like barbecue but i did pick up a few more of these lint rollers they came from walmart these are like the 97 cent ones or whatever um i really like these ones um the dollar tree ones like they tend they always seem to like slip off the handle not all of them but some of them but these ones i've never had an issue and so yeah see what i use it for getting all those Mainly, um, one thing I like to use it for, it's like I can just cut and trim all my threads on my thing. And then when I'm done, I just go over it and pick them all up. So, I picked up a few more of those. That was like the only thing I bought work-related at Walmart. Um, I got my hoop down here, which is the mighty hoop. <laughs> like Everything likes to stick to it. But I was able to, Journey has gotten into this routine where she is just, I don't know if it's teeth, I don't know, I don't know if it's just, she wants her mommy, I don't know. But like she just gets so clingy and crabby and like I can't do anything because all day I kept thinking, well I can go down in here, I can go downstairs and just start something on this, on this, um. Melco, because I thought I can just set it up to do a number where, as if anything was to happen, like it would mess up or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't feel as bad because it's just a number. Um, hopefully, I can get a few orders worked on. Okay, those go like that. This, I don't know what the heck's going on here. These have to be put back in order. But I'm going to try to get something done. It is 5.30 right now. Journey's down here playing. Which is good. She's playing. Um, show you guys. Like I said, she's been really killing me. And upstairs, she just wanted to sit on my lap. Oh, did you find a little bottle to feed the baby? Hey. Yeah, baby drink a baba? I have no idea where she got that. It's like a little tiny... Okay, make sure only baby drink it. And I got these two things down for her. She seems to like to be playing with like play sets and stuff. Um, there's like a car upstairs she likes to put stuff in. And I think Sterly had a, like a little play set out and she was playing with it. Oh, you squished a squishy. Shaky. I have no idea why it's so shaky. Normally it's not this shaky. Maybe it's because it just started up. I don't know. Anyway, guys, so what I do 
is I'm still learning this program, so I have no idea. So I'm not an expert, so don't don't think I am. I just know what I've learned so far and what the trainer, you know, he went through everything as far as maintenance, um, oiling, like in the air and in the air, and like there's other things you gotta oil and grease up and. So we went through all of it. He told us some do's and some don'ts. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm hoping I can pretty soon just use it for all of my designs. But for now, I can only work with what thread colors I have. I know I need a lot more colors since this is what I'm working with now. Like all of these colors I can use on my machine. Um... Which, I know it's not like a ton, but for me it's a ton. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. <gasps> I could just squish her. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and go for it. This is going to be, this is a My Little Pony um, one. Okay, so far for my hoops, I have, there's five of these Mighty Hoops. I do have some other hoops and I can like try some designs with them. But for now, like, um, I've just been using this one mainly um, and I'll do the number. And it don't take long at all. I'll do the number one. And then after that, um, I will move this down and then put the name. I've done that with a few. Um, the what? The stabilizer that I have on there is a stabilizer I just got in the mail, which is the one I use for my 5x7. But I have a roll coming, and what I do is I'll cut it longer so it'll be a longer piece. And then that way when I rehoop, I don't have to use another piece of stabilizer. I can just move my hoop down. That makes sense. But this right here is just some tear away I picked up somewhere. This room is just an utter chaos mess. I, I'm i hoping by using this machine I can get somewhere, you know, get to a good, a good place where I can actually get some organization done. Um. Okay, the SD card is full because when I dumped my camera, I forgot to erase it all. But I think I'm going to go for these two. I think they will line up pretty good. And then we also got little Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. And then I think Rarity will be in there too. So I think that'll be a good... I think it's kind of funny that we got her head right in the middle. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So we got two rainbows there. We actually got Princess Celestia down here. Pinkie Pie and Rarity and Fluttershy. A little bit of Applejack, but I don't even know this dude. And believe me, guys, I don't really know who these ponies are. I just know from making these designs <laughs> who they are when people request them. So let me cut this out. Okay, got it cut out. I have to remember not to put my camera near this because this is uh, keep away from electronic devices and credit cards because it'll <laughs> deactivate them, demagnetize them. Anyway, um, I'm hoping. Did I cut that close enough? Let me cut that a little bit more right there. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I got it all and I always make sure my shirt is on right because um, once I did get it hooked underneath, but this was before. Um, when I was still learning in the very beginning before I had a trainer and just like that it is done
Hey guys, so I finished this one. Um, everything lined up pretty good. I like the way it looks. I did have one thread break, and that was over here. Um, but I was talking to Angela, and she's actually someone, um, we're Facebook friends, and um, she watches my vlog, so that's how we've actually started talking. But um, she was just telling me how, you know, you're going to have thread breaks, especially with a faster machine, and it's just inevitable, and it's something that's going to happen. But So... But it was an easy fix. So all I did is just got it back up and it just kept on going. So that's that one. I'm just going to set it aside. Oh, this is one I did yesterday. But um, I told my husband I think I'm going to redo it. So the first time I redid it. Actually, I already emptied my trash. I did it the first time and the one was probably about as big as the name. About this big. And then when I went to put the name on it was down here and I'm like well that would be where a tutu would be like it would totally be covered up with the tutu so then I tried to you know I did it all in one hoop so this is what it looks like it's gonna have a tutu with it so that's my main thing is like trying to make sure there's room for a tutu let's see the tutu would probably go right about here right about here I'm trying to think compared to like you know what I mean I don't know I might just send it like this I know sometimes I am too picky but I worry about people like oh this don't look like this and if you do this you know what I mean you know what I mean but I'm gonna try to do a few of these um, little number like these these appliques like this just to get those done because they are um, due to ship out and then I'm going to try to do a Little Mermaid, and then I'm going to start maybe one or two over here. I know i got to make a ribbon trim, too. But, see, my husband, he just went, um, we got new mattresses. We bought them off from Amazon, and they are the, let me put you up here. Machine, hope this shirt. They are the, um, they're like Zenith memory foam mattresses. Um, we went mattress shopping. As you guys know, and we did um, see some mattresses, but oh my gosh, mattresses are so high. When did they ever get that high? There was like three, four thousand dollar mattresses. Like what? I'm not gonna pay. Um, but the guy's like, last you thirty years. I'm like, oh my goodness, mattress we had on our bed we've had for the past ten years. You know, <laughs> just to replace every eight, but. Um, so we are going to, um, I ordered it for Sterling's bed and we all tried it out. My husband said it was too soft. He said his butt was sinking. Now I told him, I was like, well, it's probably because there are slats and this is a memory foam. There's no support there. Whereas normally you'd have like a box spring and it would lay on the box spring and it would have the full support. And I was like, but you're laying it on slats because Sterling's is a bunk bed. And so he laid in it, and then he got up, and he looked, and right where his butt was, sure enough, there was like, you know, there was a slat here and a slat here, and his butt just kind of, he was like, you are right. And I was like, I'm always right, honey. No, <laughs> I was like, so uh, he said that he was going to go buy some boards, um, and we are just going to lay boards down on the slats, and then the bed. So ours as well just has the slats, because ours, um, is the bed that has like the drawers and stuff on them. So he went to go buy boards. Our, our mattress for our bed will be in Saturday. And as soon as we get it, I want to set it up and you know, it. they say wait 24 hours, but we'll see. We'll see what time it comes in. Cause if it comes in in the morning, I'm gonna, as soon as we get it, we'll just put it on the bed and probably sleep on it that night. So he went to go get that. And so Journey is down here, and uh, I'm going to try to get some work done. Sterling and Alyssa are still upstairs, so I'll see what I can get done. Hey guys, look what I just made. I'm so happy. And it didn't take very long at all. Let me see how much 
it took about 47 minutes is how much it took how long it took now that was like because I had to cut out like I think 20 minutes of course I was um, in between when I would get my fabric or whatever I'd put my heat and bond on the back of it but um, yeah so I know a lot of it was that because when it got to where it was actually and well actually 20 minutes was stitching out this and then um, tacking down all these pieces so when it got because it was like 20 minutes already and then it got to actual stitching and so anyway I am very very pleased because um, there's only so many designs I can do right now until my thread comes in which is tomorrow um, and then I probably still don't have all the colors that I need but I will have a majority of colors that I can use um, because I need like gold I don't have any gold um, I needed like uh, like a blonde I needed another yellow because I'm running out of yellow um, um, and more purples and just, yeah just a lot of colors but um, I was like I've been doing just the little number appliques and it's been going smooth and I'm like oh my gosh I've gotten so many done it is only 10 46 and I have one two three four five I have six shirts done this is from yesterday so I won't count that one but I have six shirts done what I'm gonna continue working a little bit